welcome to my first time with this new camera. Um, this is a class that will be dealing with hips, opening our hips. I'm going to say it's somewhere between intermediate and beginner level, but as always you can modify anything and I'll list the modifications on the way. So don't be intimidated if you are a beginner. Um, it's really, it'll be challenging, but it's good if you have tight hips to challenge. Um, grab your stuff. Um, you'll want blocks, pillows, a strap is good, or a towel. Really, you can use a bath towel. Like, you can just grab bath towels. If that's all you have, you can make a bath towel do a lot. Um, so, come to grab your stuff. The more tight you are, the more pillows and blocks and things you'll want. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, you'll be fine. If you, if you don't have any blocks, you'll be fine. So just grab your pillows, grab your bath towels, and let's come to a comfortable seat. Your comfortable meditative posture can be anything that as long as you have a straight spine. So you can come to sit more traditional with crossed legs. You can sit on a little stool or a little stack of pillows. Get creative with your seat. Straighten your spine, tuck your tailbone in. Open your chest like a book. You can use both hands on your back, on your belly to kind of arrange yourself that you're straight. Keep the shoulders away from the ears. Breathe in through your nose and breathe out through your nose. As you breathe in, start to imagine where the breath is going. It's going down your throat, it's going through your heart, feeling your chest rise, and go all the way into your belly and let your belly fill with air, which is something that we don't normally do. So continue to breathe in. Fill your belly with air. Hold for just a second. And slowly let the breath out of your nose. Watch the breath go through your belly, your lungs, your nose. Let's take another inhale. And this time, if you need to take a second inhale, make sure that everything is filled with air. Your belly and your lungs get filled with air. Hold for just a second and start to exhale the breath out of your nose. And take one more mindful yoga breath on your own. Start to arrange your hands. You can place your hands face down on your legs, on your knees, if you feel, want to feel more grounded, and you can raise them up to feel more energized. Remember your straight posture. just release. We can release the things that we don't need. We can release our fears of our body going into different positions. Just be open and release. Let go. Start to think about gratitude. Take a moment to 
feel that feeling of gratitude fully. keeping that leg straight. Now come and grab the strap or towel and hold it between your hands. And now step your right foot, the ball of your right foot, in the center of the strap. So it's almost like I made myself a little um, step or stirrup for my foot. So my right and left hand are holding the strap, it's in a U shape, and my foot is in the bottom. So as I inhale, breathe and try to keep my foot up. You can also make a longer scarf so that you have more distance or you can take your strap single layer, you can make a loop. Um, see what your body needs. And as you inhale, try to walk your hand up the strap. You want to keep your shoulders on the ground. And just feel this hamstring stretch. You inhale, you can try to go a little deeper, but still trying to keep your shoulders on the ground. And maybe you're just here. Breathe. the legs. We're just warming up, so don't worry if you're not as flexible as normal. So flat the right leg down, inhale, lift the left, left leg, and put your left leg in the strap or towel. Holding on either side with your hands, inhale, straight the left leg, and see where you're at. Maybe this side of your body is more flexible or less flexible. Breathe. Try to walk your hands up the strap if you can. the right leg to the side. So you're sliding the right leg along the ground. 
And now inhale, lift the right leg up, exhale, bring it in an arc back down to center. And now let's take the left leg, slide it on the floor out to the side, exhale. Inhale, pick the left leg up off the ground, exhale, slide it down in an arc to center. So the half circle. And now inhale, lift the right leg up, exhale, take the leg off the ground in an arc out to the side. Exhale, breathe. Inhale, exhale, slide the left, the right leg back to center. Once more with the left leg. Inhale, pick the left leg up off the ground. Exhale, slide the left leg in an arc back to the ground. Inhale, exhale, slide the left leg back to center. Breathe. Take the both feet, oh, take the both of your feet together and slide your, I'm sorry, take your soles of your feet together. We're coming into butterfly laying down. So the soles of your feet are now touching, your knees are bent out of the sides. Depending on the flexibility of your body, you might have knees that are only very slightly bent. So as you inhale, see if you can bring your heels closer and closer to your groin. See what happens. You don't want to overextend, but you want to feel a stretch. You can put a block under your knees if you want, if that makes it better, under your thighs, or little pillows or towels. Breathe. Take your knees and bend them and hug them to your chest and rock side to side. And cross your ankles. And you can use your hands on the ground for more support or you can try to just use your core. So option one, support yourself with your hands, easier. Level two, try to just use your core strength and keep your hands in the air or on your knees. Inhale and come up slowly. From this seated position, let's come to twist. So let's take the left leg and let's bend it at the knee. The, le the side of the left foot is on the ground. And the right leg is straight. As you inhale, bring up both arms. Take the arm, uh, take the your arms away from the shoulder. So sorry, the left knee is bent. The flat of the left knee foot is inside of the right thigh. Sorry. Inhale, raise the both arms up. Take the ears away from the shoulders. Johnny Shirasana, head to knee pose. As you exhale, twist your body to the left. So now you're kind of on the same level looking at your left knee. And as you exhale deeper, take your right hand down to the top of your right foot. And as you exhale even more, take the left hand on top of your right hand. The idea is to put your ear, your right ear down to your right knee. So if that's not accessible, you can grab your strap and come over this way. You can throw a pillow on top of that leg if you like, and you can even put a block under that knee. So see what you need. You want to feel a side body stretch. So inhale. Exhale, come down. Right hand down, left hand down, right ear down to the knee. 
Please exhale, go deeper. And inhaling, slowly come back up. From here, let's switch the leg. So take both of the legs together first. Put the heels, the soles of the feet together. Breathe. Holding the feet with both hands and butterfly. Keep the sit bone down on the floor. Open the chest like a book. Breathe. Shoulders away from the ears. Straight spine. Hold the feet. And remember, your butterfly can be far away from your groin. So see where your heels need to be for this one. The pillows under your knees. Inhale, exhale, fall forward. Imagine belly, chest, and chin down. With each exhale, go deeper. Inhale, slowly come back up. And let's do Janu Shirtasana on the other side. So slide the right leg forward. Sorry, slide the left leg forward. Take, take the right leg and put it inside of your left thigh. So the flat, the sole of your right foot is inside of your left thigh. Your left leg is stretched forward. Both of your sit bones are on the ground. Inhale and raise the both arms up. Exhale, twist your body to the right to be looking at your right knee. So now that's this, your side body is, is switched. So as you exhale, bring the left foot hand down on top of the left foot. As you exhale more deeply, aim to take your left ear or your left nose down to your left knee. And take the right, take the right hand and put it on top of your left hand. If that's not accessible, again, the same modifications apply. So take a block under your knee if you like, put a pillow on top of that leg, and you can use a strap, you mix and match. And try to just switch so that your um, ear is on top. So you want to feel a stretch, and the muscle memory will come. So just find where you're at so that you feel the stretch today. Inhaling, exhaling, with each exhale, go deeper. And inhale, come up slowly. So from here, Let's move to a kneeling position. Um, for the kneeling position, you can take a pillow and put it under your knees. Um, if your knee is sore today, or you have arthritis, or you just have skinny knees, maybe you want to have that extra cushion. If you do use a pillow under your knees, take the toes and point them down so that you're anchored on your toes, so that you have more of the support. If you're not using a pillow, you can lay the flat, the tops of your feet down flat. Um, you can also alternatively pinch your mat at the sides and make a little cushion for your knees. So if you pinch your mat at the sides with the shortest width and this little loop comes up, you can slide it down you have this little like little cushion, like this little 10 centimeter cushion for your for your knees. Um, so find where you're at. If you have wrist injuries, you can make your hands into fists. And let's come down so that our knees are under our hips, hands are under our shoulders, and breathe. Let's come into a few cat and cows. So inhale, dip the belly down. And look up. Exhale, round the spine, look down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, round the spine, look down, engage your core. Inhale, up. 
exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, come to neutral. So your spine is straight now. Try to adjust your alignment. It might have gotten funny. Make sure your fingertips are pointed forward. Breathe. Now we'll do some hip circles. So you're really just gonna make your hips in a circle. So take your hips to the left, make them in a circle. Take your hips to the right, make them in a circle. See how this movement feels? And now let's deepen the movement. So we're gonna add the cat and cow and the hip circle stretch together. So take your butt down towards your heels and dip the belly down, look up. As you're starting to exhale, slide the butt to the left and start bringing it forward on the left side. Rounding the spine, look down and bring the hips more towards the center with a rounded spine. As you begin to inhale, take the hips to the right and start dipping your belly down and bringing your hips back. Dipping the belly down, looking up. Exhaling, bringing your hips to the left. Start to bring them forward as you round your spine, coming to center with the rounded spine. Take your hips to the right and start to belly, dip your belly down as you inhale and bring your hips back over your heels with the belly dip down as you exhale, come to the left, bring your hips forward, rounding your spine center, bring your hips to the right and dipping your belly down as you begin to inhale and take the hips back. Dipping your hips to the left more to be centered over your butt. Inhale, exhale. Let's do a few more on your own movement and your own breathing. Don't worry if it's beautiful. This is mostly getting the movement and enjoying the sensation of breathing. Adjust your alignment if needed. Knees under hips, hands under shoulders. Breathe. So now let's take the hips to the right and start to dip the belly down over your heels. To the left as you start to curl the spine looking down and upwards and then start to bring your hips to the right as you bring your belly down looking up to the heels and now sliding it to the left as you begin to exhale and curl your spine now center now to the right as you start to dip your belly down and inhale so now to the back of your heels and slide it to the right, curling your spine, look down, bringing it to the right, and back towards your heels. Continue this motion, continue the breath. When your belly dips down, you inhale. When you curl your spine, you exhale. From here, finish your last round and put, place your forearms down on the mat. And we'll do melting heart pose. So take your left hand and slide it behind your right hand. Place 
your left ear down on the mat. Level one. Level two, slide your right arm forward. So your knees are under your hips, your left ear is on the mat, your left ear is slid to the right of your body. So your left hand. Now inhale, level three, and roll your right hand upwards. See if you can re reach the sky, see how this feels for your body. Level three, round, ro rotate the right shoulder and bring the back of the right hand behind your back. As you exhale, see if you can find your left hip. Inhale and open the chest, bring that right shoulder back. So just inhale, open the chest more. And if you're here, you can still open your chest, your hand in the sky, just open your chest. If your hand is on the floor, open your chest, bring that shoulder back. Exhale, open. And inhale, release. Bring the arms back down to the mat where we started. And come with the left hand behind, sorry, the right hand behind the left elbow. Slide the right ear down to the mat. Level one. Level two. Slide the left arm forward. Level three. Raise your left hand upwards towards the sky. You can rotate the shoulder if that feels good. Open the chest. Level four, exhale, rotate the shoulder even more and slide the back of your left hand behind your back to find your right hand. As you inhale, take the shoulder back, take the left shoulder back, inhale, take the shoulder back, inhale. With each inhale, go deeper. Exhale, come back down to the mat with your forearms with elbows under your shoulders, fingertips pointed forward, and let's come with your hands under your shoulders now to yogi squat. So I'll show you from the side so you can see. So take your left foot outside of your left hand. Take your right hand foot outside of your left hand. You want them a little bit wider distance. So now place your hands together at heart center and take your elbows and either of your knee pits or under knee area. Place your hands together, palms facing each other, and sink your butt down towards the mat. Let's see how this feels. So your knees are bent wide and your butt is between your knees. It's not touching the ground. Your elbows are in your, uh, underside your knees, kind of pushing, pushing in opposite directions of your knees to help you be more stable. But what if this is very uncomfortable? You can grab blocks. You'll want two to three blocks depending on your height. And you can try this position sitting on blocks. It'll make it a lot less intense. So it's a good way to start to build the muscle memory. Um, you can also, if you don't have blocks, you can use pillows or towels, blankets. And you can also throw rolled up towels or blocks under your heels and try this way. And you can even put little rolled up towels under your knees. So again, stabilize yourself, elbows and your knees and explore. You can take your feet wider or closer, closer for easier. So maybe you, you can just put your elbows outside your knees and have your legs a little closer. So see where you're at. 
and find your yogi squat. Malasana. Don't be afraid to use a modification because the muscle memory will build over time. It's the best way to come into the asana. You also don't want to hurt yourself, so don't strain. Breathe into this stretch. And now place your hands down on the floor by your um, fingertips pointing forward, like in center. So they can be in line with your feet or a little bit above your feet, it doesn't matter, but you want, you want to anchor. And from here, slide your body a little bit to the left and then a little bit to the right. You're just kind of doing a really gentle little twist from side to side, exploring the movement. Inhale and exhale, try to synchronize your breath. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Breathe deeply and you can move more slowly in time with your breath. a more neutral yogi squat. You can place your elbows back in your shoulders or in your elbows and you can rock a little bit side to side and feel the difference. And take your left hand and hold your left ankle. Inhale, raise your right hand, look up at your right hand. Do a side body stretch. the right hand to the left ankle. Take the left hand and this is, you, can use it, you can use it to anchor on the ground or you can use it just behind your back. Inhale, exhale, twist to the left. Take your left shoulder back. So you're holding your left ankle with your right hand. Exhale, twist. And inhale back to center. Switch the hands and legs. So now let's take the right hand to the right ankle. Inhale, raise the left hand, look up to the left at our left hand. Try to raise the left hand up over this, over your head. Feel the side body stretch, and of course the hip stretch. And exhale, take the left hand to the right um, ankle, and take the right hand behind your back. Inhale, exhale, twist to the right. Take your right shoulder back. center. Let's do some bound poses. So take your right hand, rotate the shoulder, and take the back of your right um, forearm outside of your right knee. Rotate your right arm again and take the left arm to hold hands with yourself behind your back. Now if you can't hold hands with yourself, grab the strap and adjust the strap. Or you can hold your clothes or just do your best. So find a stretch. Inhale, exhale, look to the left. Twist that left shoulder back. With each exhale, go deeper. And inhale, back to center. Let's take the other, other side. So take your left arm, rotate it at the shoulder, come with your upper left arm in the inside of your left knee, and rotate that left arm again, and bring it back. So now my left fingers are kind of tickling my upper hip. Inhale, take the right hand behind my back and come to hold hands with my left hand. If I can't reach my left hand, I can grab onto my clothes or use the strap. 
Inhale, exhale, take the right shoulder back and twist to the right. Reach, exhale, twist more deeply. Take the right shoulder back. Breathe. down to in between your feet and slowly slowly come to a standing position you can shake your legs from side to side you can make some circles with your hips come to stretch and release your body Apart, parallel to each other. Let's bend the knees so that we'll come into chair position. And you don't want your knees to be over your toes. You want your knees to be behind your toes. So even if that means you're just bending down an inch, that's better and safer alignment than taking your, your knees over your toes. It's not stable and it's not good for you. So it's keeping your feet parallel, facing forward, about roughly under your hips. If you're bigger or pregnant right now, you can take a little bit more distance, just a little bit. Um, if you're trying for a balance challenge, you can take your toes a little bit closer, but generally a roughly hip distance is good. Inhale, raise the hands up and tuck the chin and push the pelvis out. A gentle back bend and exhale, bend the hips, sorry, bend the knees and straighten the spine, keep the shoulders away from the ears and sink down into your chair pose. As each exhale, sink down. And try to sink down more. Engage your core, engage your butt. Shoulders away from the ears. And exhale, take the hands to heart center. Inhale, exhale, twist to the left. So just take your upper body and twist to the left. Look behind you, take that left shoulder back. And inhale, come back to center. Inhale, exhale, twist to the right. Go over your right thigh, look behind you. Inhale, exhale, twist deeper. And inhale, back to center. From here, come to grab onto your big toes with your pointer finger and your middle finger. You can bend your knees, for sure. You can bend your knees a lot. But as you inhale, pull heavily on your big toes. If you want, you can try to straighten your knees. You want to feel this mostly at your shoulders. Each inhale and exhale, you can go down deeper, imagine belly, chest, and chin down. And relax the grip that you have on your toes and come to grab your opposite elbows and hang your head down. Move your body from side to side. You can move at the hips. Twisting to the right and the left. And now come to hold hands with yourself behind your back. Inhale and raise the hands upwards.
breathe. Imagine belly, chest, and chin down if you want to go deeper. And exhale. Place the hands down on either side of your feet and come to take the left leg back. So the left knee is off the mat and the hands are under the shoulders. Breathe. And now inhale, raise the both hands up, high lunge. Tuck the chin down, push the pelvis out, slight back bend. Hands are raised up. Breathe. Exhale. Bring the elbows down. Bring the hands and then the elbows down to the outside of the left foot, right foot. So you're, you're to the left of your right foot now. Lizard lunge. Engage that back leg straight. Breathe. You're hanging out just over your elbows. You can make fists, unstack them, and put your head on the fist if you like, or use a pillow for your head. Breathe. And exhale, place the hands on either side of the feet again, under your shoulders, and take the right leg back. Come into plank, and drop down your elbows so that it's forearm plank. Breathe. Now inhale, exhale, dip your hips to the left. So you're just kind of moving in the balls of your feet. Come back to center, inhale, exhale to the right. Inhale back to center, exhale to the left. Inhale back to center, exhale to the right. Drop your knees down, come into a child's pose. So put your butt on top of your heels, belly on top of your thighs, and aim to put your forehead on the mat. Your hands are outstretched in front of you, shoulders away from the ears. You can throw many, many pillows between your thighs and your calves to make this more comfortable. Your hands should be relaxed, forward but not engaged, just, they're just chilling. From here, let's come back to our yogi squat. So come to place your left hand foot outside of your left hand, your right foot outside of your right hand, and come back to yogi squat. If you want to be the other side, lay on your mat, you can. Or if you have a good floor around you, you can, because we're going to go sideways. So you might want to come back to center of your mat sideways and place your hands together at center. You want the elbows at the other side of your knees and your hands are held together at center. Breathe. Shift a little bit from side to side. Remember your pillows and modifications if you were using those before. Place the hands down on the mat for support. Inhale, exhale, slide the left foot out. So now the left leg has become straight. You are balanced on the ball of your right foot, your right toes. Your right butt is sitting on your right heel, and your left heel is balancing on, your, on the other side. See how this feels. Do you need to take your leg less straight, maybe bend your left leg just a little bit? So find the best position for you. Malasana. Again, you can definitely be doing this with blocks under you and pillows. A 
bent leg. But you want to feel a stretch. So find what you can do and still feel a stretch. Find your edge. Your hands are supporting you on the ground. And now level two challenge. Inhale and take the hands together at heart center. So you want to feel really balanced as you inhale and take your hands together at heart center. Breathe, use your core. And now exhale. <laughs> now exhale, place the hands back down on the mat. Take the right foot back down and slide it back to your original yogi squat position. A little different than usual. So now from here, let's inhale and take the right foot out the side. So let's find your position with the right leg. How does it feel? Does it feel different than the left side? Maybe you need to bend this side of your body more. So see what's going on with the right side of your body. Explore, feel the stretch. Use blocks, bend the knee. Your hands are on the ground in front of you for support. Level two, let's see if you can use your core and balance. Hold your hands together, heart center, breathe. Obviously, this is not easy. <laughs> and exhale, come back to center. So from here, let's do the same movements, but, from, but we'll do them side to side. So let's take the left foot out. Hands are down on the floor in front of us. And exhale. Turn the left foot in as we come to shift our weight over to the left side, sliding the right leg out. Inhale, exhale, switch the weight to the right. Left leg comes out. Inhale, exhale, switch the right leg comes out. So inhale, left leg. Exhale, right leg. Inhale, center, exhale, left leg. Inhale, center, exhale, right leg. Inhale, center, exhale, left leg. Inhale, center, exhale, right leg. Inhale, center, Exhale, left leg. Come back to center. And let's place your hands together at heart center and see if we can go from side to side again with your hands at heart center. If this proves to be too challenging today, place your hands down and just do level one for today. So take your hands at heart center. Inhale, exhale, go to the right. You'll find it's easier to be balanced when you're moving. When you're stationary, it's more difficult. Inhaling, exhaling. So inhale, center, exhale, right leg. Inhale, center, exhale, left leg. Inhale, center, exhale, leg. You bend your knees, inhale, exhale. Inhale, center. Last one. And come back to yogi squat. You can stand up slowly, acting as though your body is a rag doll. Slowly, slowly stand up. Shake out your legs. Protect your knees. You can go in circles. You can shake. And from here, let's come to goddess pose. So I don't think we've done this one yet. So take your feet pretty wide, like wider than your hips. You're gonna turn your feet out 
at the sides. I'll have to fall over. Oh. Okay, so take your feet out to the sides. Um, and if you're pretty wide, wider than your hips, as you inhale and exhale, come to sit down. You want to imagine that you're creating a rectangle between your body, between your legs and the floor. There's this rectangle space created. So come to sink down in goddess pose. Hands at heart center. Or you can place your hands on your knees. Try to straighten your spine. Breathe. So your toes are pointing out at either side. Mm. Your legs are much wider than your hips. So coming again, slide your legs wider than your hips. And come on to, come to sink your body down. Each exhale, sink your body down. Hands at heart center. Breathe. And if you want, you can inhale and raise the hands up. Shoulders away from the ears. Inhaling, exhaling, breathe. And exhale, place the hands down on the ground in front of you. And slide the feet so they're parallel to each other. So slide your feet so they're parallel to each other, wide legged forward bend. Inhale, exhale, fall forward. Your hands are in line with your feet. Breathe, inhale, come back up. Place your hands behind your back. Breathe. Inhale, exhale, fall forward into wide-legged forward bend. Inhale, come back up. Inhale, exhale, come to sit down in yogi squat once more. So place your hands on the ground in front of you and start moving your feet closer together so you can find your yogi squat as you bend down. Place your hands together at heart center and breathe. Now inhaling, take the right foot out and take the left hand and the right hand forward. So turn to the right, place your right hand to the right of your right leg and your left hand to the left of your right leg. So now your right leg is centered. Your hands are on either side, around your knee maybe, or your thigh, where you can reach. And now inhale, exhale, try to crawl both of your hands forward. If you're feeling up for a challenge, you can try to grab your right foot with your left hand or your right hand or both. Breathe. I can't do both, but you can maybe. And exhale. Come back to center. Slide that right leg in. Take the left leg out. Take your both hands and again, center your left leg in between your hands and try to grab onto your left foot. You need one hand or both hands, it doesn't matter. You just want to feel a hamstring stretch and a hip stretch. Explore the movement, explore your balance. Come back to center, come back to your yogi squat. And your hands are on the floor now. So we put them at heart center and try to stand up. You can widen your feet just a little bit. Hands still at heart center. Exhale, try to sit back down. Come back to yogi squat. Inhale, come up, engage your core. Exhale, come down. Inhale up, exhale down. 
come now to base the um, come back up, inhaling, come back up, and shake your legs out and walk to the top of your mat. Keep your feet about hip distance apart. And we'll do another chair pose. So as you find your um, standing posture, right? So find all four corners of your body, tuck your tailbone in, open your chest like a book, breathe in through your nose, breathe out through your nose. So now inhale, raise the both hands up, shoulders away from the ears, tuck the chin, push the pelvis out, gentle back bend, exhale, bend the knees, keep the arms straight up, bend the knees to come down into your chair pose. You want your knees to be behind your toes. So that means your, your um, back is gonna kind of tilt like an angle. Breathe, we just exhale, you can try to go a little deeper. And exhale, place your hands at heart center. Inhale, exhale, twist to the left. Twist over your left thigh, bring that left shoulder back, breathe. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, exhale, twist. And from here, come down to grab your big toes and pull heavily at your big toes. You can bend your knees if you need to and keep pulling at your big toes. Stretches, you might feel your hamstrings and your hips. Feeling loose in the shoulders and the ears, completely relax that area. If you can, try to do this with straight hamstrings. That means you can come up even, even higher to do this position. So just come to where you feel a stretch. Place the hands down on either side of your feet, and this time take the left leg, the right leg back. Yeah, take the right leg back. So make sure that the knee is off the ground, your hands are under your shoulders. Breathe. Engage that leg, find your right distance. And inhale, take the both hands up, use your core, tuck your chin, push your pelvis out. Gentle back bend, breathe. High lunge. And exhale, take the both forearms to the mat outside your left foot. So now you're on the right side, high lizard, lizard lunge. So you can place your head on top of your fists or hang out or throw a pillow under your head. If you're comfortable, breathe, feel the hip stretch. Place both of your hands back under your shoulders and come into plank. And then slide your forearms down, elbows under your shoulders or forearm plank. Breathe. Engage your pelvis away from the mat. Inhale, exhale, take the left hips down to the side. Inhale back to center, exhale, right hips down to the right side. Inhale back to center, drop the knees down and come to a child's pose. So your belly's over your thighs, 
You're sitting on your heels. Your forehead's on the mat. Your arms are reaching forward, but they're not engaged. They're just relaxed. Slide your forearms on the mat and slide your legs back. We're going to come into Sphinx Pose. So your elbows are under your shoulders. Fingertips are pointed forward. Your pelvis is on the mat. Take your shoulders away from the ears and open your chest. Squeeze your butt to protect your back. And as you inhale, open the chest. Walk like you're like ripping open a book or something. Just rip it open and open, open, take it back. Breathe, inhale. With each inhale, come up vertebrae by vertebrae, still resting on your elbows. Don't overextend, but feel the back stretch. Heart opening. And now inhale, look to your right feet. Breathe, squeeze your butt. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, exhale, look at your left feet. Squeeze your butt. Inhale back to center. Inhale, kick your legs up. See how this feels. Squeeze your butt and see if you can grab your left foot with your left hand. Breathe, kick your left foot out. Exhale, lace the left hand down. Inhale, take the right hand and grab onto your right foot. Inhale, kick that right leg out. Kick the foot towards the hand. Kick, kick, kick. Inhale, kick, exhale, bring it down to the mat. Place your forearms down on the mat. Stack your forearms on top of each other, holding opposite elbows almost. Um, and relax your head on top of your stacked forearms. You can work, leave your legs down and roll your butt from side to side. Take out any hip tension. And now inhale, kick the both legs up. And grab your left foot with your left hand, your right foot with your right hand. Inhale, kick, kick back with your feet. If you have a back injury, don't kick. Just hold your feet. Keep your chin on the mat. And if your rack is okay, inhale and kick back. Kick, kick, kick. Exhale, come down to the mat. Push into a child's pose. So your belly is on top of your thighs, your butt is over your heels, your forehead is on the mat, your hands are resting forward. You can widen your knees if you like. Left leg and 
just hook. Come to sit on your sit bones. Sit on your sit bones. And let's sit on butterfly. So sit in butterfly. Your soles of your feet are facing each other. Sit bones down on the ground. Breathe. Move your butterfly wings up and down if you like. So flap your knees up and down. See how this feels. And now, let's try for cow face pose. So taking your left leg, keep it where it is, and slide your left foot towards your right butt. Take your right leg and hold your right calf like it's your baby. So you're holding your left right heel with your left hand and supporting your calf with your right hand so hold hold your leg you can bounce it try to straight your spine and now take your baby or your right leg and take that right foot over your left thigh and place the left foot down on the ground slide your right foot Sorry, slide your left foot by your right butt. Adjust both of your sit bones so that they're on the ground. Try to arrange your calves or your ankles so that they're in a straight line. So you want the right and left ankle to be on a straight line. You want your knees to be stacked. You want both sit bones on the floor. You'll notice one side of your body can do this easier than the other side usually. So find where this looks like for you. Hold your ankles and inhale straight your spine. But this might be quite challenging, so let's make it a little easier. Let's sit on a block. And let's put another block or small pillow or towel in between your knees. Hold your, hold your ankles, inhale, breathe. sit on the block and put a towel cushion or block in between the knees um, you can take your knees your, your your you can take your ankles a little bit more of a distance so they're not perfectly straight but just get them as straight as you can get them maybe your maybe your knees you pointed up more so find what cow face pose looks like for your body today and once you find it holding your ankles breathe Stack your knees, hold your ankles, breathe. Inhale, open your chest like a book. Switch the legs. So now bending the right knee down. Let's come into our butterfly. It makes it easier. So spot your butterfly wings for just a second. Straight your spine. And take your right leg. Leave it where it is. Now pick up your left leg. It's become your baby. So take your right hand to hold your left foot. Your left hand caresses your left calf and you're cradling your baby in your arm, which is your left leg. And take your right foot and move it so that your right heel is close to your left butt. So you are holding your left leg in your left hand and your right hand. You're pretending that your calf and foot are like a baby doll, right? So you're hugging and holding and rocking your left calf and your left foot. And now exhale, take that left foot and put it outside of your right thigh. So let's try to come into cow face pose on this side. So you want to try to get those knees stacked and those ankles on a straight line. So try to move your ankles out and take that right, those sorry, the left leg and push it out more toward the right. So walk it to the right. See how the side of your body is. Walk the left, sorry, the right foot more to the left. So walk your feet in opposite directions. Try to stack both of your sit bones on the floor. And try to hold your ankles in a straight line. Inhale, open the chest. Take a straight spine, tuck the tailbone in, shoulders away from the ears, holding your ankles to keep this in place. So you'll notice this side of my body is more tight. So 
So I'm going to throw a block in between my knees, and I'm going to sit on a block or a cushion to make this easier. Breathe. And maybe my ankle needs to be up higher, more high. So see what you need to do, see what you can do to get into this posture. So both of your sides of your body might look different, but over time you'll be able to get there. Use the props, take the adjustments, move your legs so that it's comfortable so you can sit here for a while. Breathe. Holding your ankles. two blocks maybe or a pillow and place as you come to lay on your back vertically on the mat take your feet together in butterfly um, and you can explore with blocks if you need to put the blocks under your knees to help this be more comfortable you can tie a strap around your feet if you want to um, come to a com make your legs comfortable in butterfly if your legs are fine, you can even take the blocks and put them between your shoulder blades as you come to lay down. So right around your bra, strap right in between your shoulder blades. See how this feels? If you feel a little bit nauseous from the back head bend, try to do it for two breaths. And then you can place a block or pillow at the same level under your head. Try to keep your arms out like a letter T. Your feet, the soles of your feet are touching and butterfly. You're laying on your black on your back, reclined to butterfly. You can put the blocks under your knees. Pillow under your body vertically. We'll be here for a minute, so get comfortable. Relax your body and breathe with or without the heart opening. Relax. If you have a pillow under your um, chest, you can try to roll your shoulders back for a little more heart opening. Relax everything and breathe. You can do some ujjayi breathing. So breathe in through your nose and out through your closed mouth. So it makes an ocean sound. So as you start to breathe in through your nose, imagine where the breath is going, coming down, filling your lungs, filling your belly, filling your belly filled with air, taking another breath to fill your lungs even more. And now slowly and mindfully exhale through your mouth. Your closed mouth. The ujjayi breath. So let's do this again. Breathing in through your nose. Filling your lungs with air, your belly with air. Breathe in it once more to fill yourself completely with air. And now exhale slowly, slowly through your closed mouth. Oh, 
this big end through your nose. Your throat. Your lungs. Your heart. Your belly. Your belly is filling with air. Breathe in again and fill your lungs more with air. And start to exhale through your closed mouth, making that ocean sound. Let's do just three more breaths on your own. You can breathe normally, or you can take an ujjayi breath, breathing in through your nose. Take a moment to normalize your breath, serve your body, and start to remove the pillows or blocks that you might have been using. And come to lay on your back and we'll do reclined pigeon. So point your knees so the flats of your feet are on the ground. Try to find your heels with your fingers and inhale take the right foot to the left knee so now there's like a triangle between your calf and your two thighs take your both hands and to find your left leg to find your left thigh and see if you can pull your left thigh back towards your body while keeping your shoulders on the mat if this is not accessible today, grab your strap or your towel, your scarf, put it behind your thigh, and and pull every what am I doing? Sorry, pull everything back. So you can use a strap behind your thigh, using both hands to pull everything back. If this is too easy. Just to grab your thigh, you can grab your left calf with both hands. And pull everything back towards you. As you inhale, breathe deeper, pull, 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 pull it towards you. With each inhale. switch the legs. So this time the left foot will come on top of the right knee. Remember both sides of your body might do different things. So let's see where we can grab on this leg. So inhale and try to grab the right thigh. See if that's accessible or see if we need the strap. You can lift the strap around the thigh, inhaling, pulling the thigh and the legs towards your body. You can also try to interlace your fingers behind your left thigh, behind your right thigh, making sure you keep both of your shoulders on the mat as you pull, inhaling, pulling deeper and deeper. <clears throat> Level three, try to grab your right calf, inhaling, pulling everything towards you. Each inhale, go deeper. And exhale, release everything down to the mat. Take your block your, or your pillow, place it between your thighs. And inhale, exhale, slide your knees to the right, 
stack them on top of each other. The block really is helpful, the pillow is helpful. It makes us more comfortable, so I recommend. So make sure that your knees are evenly stacked and that your hips are also stacked. They're pointed to the right. So you're coming from your bent knees that you have on the floor with the block in between. Inhaling, exhaling, dropping them to the right side. Your hands point like a letter T and you're looking towards the left. Make sure that your hips are stacked and your knees are stacked and your shoulders are trying to find the mat so that you feel the stretch in your low back. Inhale, bring the knees back to the chest. Exhale, switch them to the other side. If you're finding this is a little bit too intense of a stretch, you can throw an additional block under your bottom knee. Try to stack your knees, stack your hips. Keep both of your shoulders on the mat. You can take your arms out like a letter T if you have space. Look to the right. Breathe. Relax your legs, relax your body, feel the stretch of your spine, stack the hips, stack the knees. And inhaling, taking the knees back to center, you can remove the block. Hug your knees to your chest and roll from side to side. A little ball. And inhale, look up at your knees. Wind release pose. You might feel a little tension in your neck because we're always using cell phones. Breathe. And now inhale through your nose, exhale through your mouth, and let everything out on this breath. So inhale, exhale, everything comes out. So vasana. So you take your big exhale and come to lay in savasana. Your hands are pointed upwards. Your legs are a little bit wide, but not too wide. Your hands have fallen near your hips, or just at the sides of your body. Close your eyes <clears throat> and make any final movements that you need to make for your body. And let's begin with meditation. So you want to start relaxing your body from the toes to the head. And when it's fully relaxed, you just observe your body as though it were a corpse. That's why it's called corpse pose. So make your final movement. <clears throat>
relax your thighs and your knees. Your legs are completely relaxed. Feel your hips and your butt supporting your body. Relax your hips. Completely relax your butt. Entirely relax. Relax your groin. Move on to your hips your pelvis, relax them, feel your back on the floor against the mat. Make sure your spine feels good. Make any last movements of your back that you need to make. And completely relax your back. Move on to feel your belly rising and falling. Relax your belly, feel your chest and your heart beating, relax any tension that you're holding in your chest, relax your chest, feel your shoulders, move them away from the ears. Observing your arms, making any last movements you need to make with your arms. Move on to your fingers. You can wiggle your fingers, your thumbs, squeezing your hands. And relax your hands. And completely relax your hands. to your arms, your forearms, completely relax your forearms, your elbows, your upper arms, and your shoulders. Your arms are completely relaxed. Feel your neck and release any tension in your neck. Your neck is completely relaxed. the back of your head against the mat, supporting your body. Relax your head. Relax the back of your head. Feel your tongue and your mouth. 
relax your tongue. Relax your mouth. Relax your forehead, completely relax your forehead, relax your eyebrows, relax your eyelids, and relax your eyes. The body is completely relaxed. Breathe and observe your body and observe your breath. Start to come back to your body. Take your time. Breathe in fully. In through your nose. Through your lungs. Filling your belly with air fully. Breathe in again. Fill everything with air. As you start to exhale the breath. Continue breathing deeply, mindfully, as you move your toes, and you can start to wiggle your fingers, and move your head from side to side, and just start making small movements with your body as you come back. want to do the breathing pranayama section of the class sitting up or if you prefer to do it laying down. If you want to do it sitting, come to a comfortable seated posture. Um, the goal is to be comfortable because we're focusing on our breath. So sit any way that's best to sit. You can sit on your knees or in a little chair or on pillows. So really you want to be focusing mostly on your breath, not on your body. So. Come to find your straight spine for Pranayama. 
laying down or sitting. As you come to your straight spine, let's do Shitali Pranayama. So this one is cooling breath. It's good for everybody unless you have asthma um, or other respiratory issues. So if that is the case, substitute it with Ujjayi breathing, yogic breathing, or Nadi Sharana Pranayama. So find something else, but just do some mindful breath. To continue with Shitali Pranayama, we'll make our tongue into a tube. And if that's not accessible, we'll make our teeth, and we'll breathe through our teeth. So opening your mouth, but breathing through your teeth. So straight the spine, place the hands down on your knees for more grounded or upwards for more energizing. Straight the spine, shoulders away from the ears. Breathe in through your tongue. Out through your nose. And let's combine this with the yogic breath. So breathing all the way in through your tongue. Feeling the air come into your belly. Continuing to breathe in through your tongue. Filling the lungs with air. And exhaling through your nose. Breathing in through your tongue. And out through your nose. Placing your hands together at our center, remembering your intentions for the class. Letting go. Remembering our feelings of gratitude. to make this happen for the earth. Taking a moment to feel just general gratitude. Thank you. Namaste.